Hello and welcome to episode 90 of Vokta Gaming. I'm your host, the vocal terrorist Jesse Rain, and we're here with game 2 in a best of 3 series between these two players. First up, in the blue, we have Complexity's Naniwa. And spawning in the red, we have Evil Genius's Huck. So, we saw yesterday Huck taking that game with a really nicely timed but nicely controlled foregate. Huck's control as a Protoss is one of the best in the world right now. There really are not many people who can match him. Nanua, however, is one of those people. Nanua has brilliant, brilliant unit control. And that is what makes me so excited about these two players and seeing them against one another. We saw that Huck's unit control was just slightly, slightly better than Naniwa's yesterday. But the question is, will Naniwa be able to come back and level this series off? So, um, a few quick shout-outs as this game begins. Protoss vs Protoss is always very slow to start. Um, as they tend to mirror one another, you tend to see a lot of the same gateway timings, the same core timings, there's there's not a big change. Both players, of course, chrono boosting out probes, as you'd expect. But uh, first shout out is, of course, to scforum.eu. That is the home of UK StarCraft, uh, so come check it out. Uh, we, uh, we have a lot of fun going on there. We have a lot of opportunities for people to get involved in the community, to get involved in games find some practice partners or whatever. Also, big shout out to Team Carnage, who right now are doing tons of good stuff within the UK scene, um, and hopefully who I'll be working with early next year. To that vein, uh, by the way, tomorrow's video is going to be my last one for a couple of weeks. Uh, I'm taking two weeks off, partly because I'm absolutely exhausted from all the work I'm doing, and I just need a break. Um, but also because I really want to gear up for the new year. Um, the first two weeks in January, it looks like I'll be uh, spending, rather than doing Voxel Gaming, I'll be casting a thing uh, called the Intensi Cup from scforum.eu. Um, so that's going to take up a load of time if that goes through and actually happens. Um, and of course, then, on the 15th of January, I'm flying to India for two weeks to see my wife. Well, my fiancé, who will very shortly be my wife. Um, so that's going to be awesome. So of course that's going to be another two weeks we miss out. But come February, I will be back here and I will be rocking out Vokta Gaming once again. And uh, hopefully, like I said, working on streaming uh, some good stuff, doing some commentary stuff with Team Carnage. So anyway, back to the game. Both players now getting warp gate, but Huck dropping two more gateways here. Whereas Naniwa we see is not. So the question is, what is Naniwa going for? He's got both gas, so it didn't feel like an early expand from me. I'm not too sure. Protoss is, uh, like I said, one of my least familiar races. Obviously, I'm very, very familiar with Terran. And I'm starting to really get a feel for how Zerg plays now, having seen so many of their games. Naniwa, in fact, going Twilight Council. So, ooh, could be Dark Shrine Rush, could be DTs. But I'm thinking it's more likely to be Blink Stalkers. Given that he's been focusing on getting Stalkers out. Although he is producing a sentry now. So, hmm. Very, very interesting. We could certainly be seeing DTs from him very shortly. Huck, meanwhile, is on 3 gate right now. Uh, generally follow that with an expand here. But we shall uh, we shall see. I like I liked the 3 gate expand. Sometimes you go 3 gate Robo and then expand. We shall see Warp Gate is about to finish for him, and now Nanoa is dropping two extra gateways. I like this from Huck. A nice forward pile on here. It's going to allow him access to the front of this base so we can blink up into it should he get vision. And it's also, of course, going to close that rush distance there. I'm, in fact, I'm really liking that as well. A pile on here as well. Both players going robo now, but Nanoa has got blink coming first, and that is going to help him a ton. Huck's three stalkers now pushing back the two of Nanua, but Nanua now has control over here. He can force field that ramp. So that is going to shut this out for the time being, and Blink is going to be so useful. Nanua's Blink Micro is insane. It is so, so good. Like you would not believe. Um, I've just. 
Oh, I can't even explain how good it is. And there's Huck going expand as predicted, going three gate robo and then expanding behind that. Can use this robo for an observer, I'd like to see. Uh, but of course, could be getting immortals or warp prisms as well. But no observer, I like that. Observer, of course, allows you to get the vision up onto the high ground so that you can blink your stalkers in. Now, Nanoar. Oh, Nanoar does not know about that pile on there, so that's going to be annoying. Or it could be if Huck's blink timing is nice. And in fact, now getting Twilight Council, so that's probably going to be blink for him too. So we could end up with Blink Stalker versus Blink Stalker. Bit of downtime now as the two kind of just work on their strategies. Nanowar in fact is not building anything right now so it looks like he's gearing up for an expand. As we hit the 300 bringing the units down to defend there. Definitely going to be, oh, or perhaps not. I really felt like he was going to expand off the back of that but right now just warping more units in. Strange to not create units for that long but hey going to take this pile on down now but he does not so far as I'm aware know of this yet the question is whether or not he will go up and check and now blinking into the main to catch the observer really nicely done there from Nanuar that is huge Huck getting virtually no scouting off obviously he knows about the blink but losing an observer is so annoying and of course Nanuar still has his so that is a fantastic catch by Nanuar Huck, meanwhile, is getting slightly supply blocked, so he's had to drop two pylons at once, but that's not the biggest of deals. Nanawa, however, is definitely in the lead food count wise, and is finally dropping that nexus here. But it looks to me like he wants to poke up into the main. Gonna get that zealot to come in the front. Oh, nice try, but very nicely done by Huck. But Nanawa blinks in anyway! Catches a stalker already and now is working on a pylon as well. Now we will really see the unit control. Nanowar is backed into a corner. Nice forces, but doesn't matter quite so much because Nanowar can just blink away like that. And those are essentially wasted force fields. This one sentry here for Nanowar doing some probe damage. Stalkers blinking in on top of the probes and now Huck Stalkers blinking towards Nanowar's as well. Now we'll see the unit control for this. Will they be able to micro back their injured stalkers? This is favouring Huck right now. Some of Nanowar's stalkers cannot get shots in. And Huck is definitely taking an advantage here. But Nanowar's control is still very nice, blinking into a better concave. But Huck, it looks like, could just shut this out, getting some sentries as well. And Nanowar is forced to retreat. Very, very nice defence there from Huck. Oh, and even blinking forward to catch that stalker, only one stalker left now from that initial attack so Nanoa is definitely despite being ahead in the food count because of course he does have more probes he's definitely going to feel behind right now and that can do a lot to a player when you feel behind it can make you do risky things and now once again we get downtime as Nanoa is going to bring out an immortal or two I think that's wise will be very useful against the uh, the stalkers and now remaking remaking that observer and these stalkers once again coming in here gonna take down this pylon thanks to the vision range of that observer I doubt he'll blink into the main I think that would be suicide right now yep good idea pulling back there from Huck moving back to the middle Dropping a pylon right in the centre as well so that he can warp units in with only half the move distance. Very, very nice. And now we see another Immortal coming out and some Zealots for Nanoar, uh, which I think is a decent mix. I think he maybe wants a couple more Zealots, but he's really focusing heavily on the Stalkers. Getting two more gas now. I think that's something Huck's going to have to do very shortly. I think he's going to have to take these gas. Right now he has a decent amount of gas piled up. But he is going to burn through that very, very quickly if he wants to start making units out of here again. But right now, of course, he's pushing in to the expansion of Naniwa. Nice force fields trapping those immortals and stalkers. The stalkers of Naniwa blinking forward and trying to take out those sentries. Very nice. All the sentries of Huck die. And now it's Stalkers versus Stalkers, Immortals and Zealots, and I'm afraid Nanowar is going to win that. 
Huck is forced to retreat and is once again still very far behind in that food count, not producing as regularly as you'd expect him to do. Uh, I apologise for the Skype noise you probably just heard. That would be uh, my fiance not listening to the instructions to be silent during this cast, but oh well, I will forgive her because I am a magnanimous person. And now Twilight Council, I thought Huck already had one of those, he does. Huck building a second Twilight Council, I think that's a mistake. I think Huck is really, really on tilt right now because he doesn't need a second Twilight Council. Huck, what are you doing? This could lose him the game right now because Nanowar's getting charged and in fact it even allows it to finish so that is money wasted that he did not need to spend I'm, perhaps he was going for a Templar Archives and hit the wrong button oh Huck 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 that could be bad and in fact Templar Archives now going in from Nanua I'm almost certain that's what it was these stalkers now moving into range of Huck stalkers but blinking away and being caught but not taking any serious damage or in fact any damage at all Two stalkers take three actual life damage. And five gateways going down now. So that is interesting. Nanowar is really gearing up, it looks like, for a heavy attack. Going to get some High Templar out, probably for Archons. I can't imagine that being uh, High Templar. I can't see that being too useful against the stalkers and such like. Uh, but perhaps... I mean, he could get a few. Nope, definitely making Archons. Okay, good. I'm pleased at that. I'm glad when I predict things correctly. It makes me feel like I know actually what the hell I'm doing. So these Stalkers once again taking up this position here. The rest of Huck's army is now moving down to meet it. But right now, this is a good combination of units from Nanua. We have two Archons out. A ton of Zealots. A, t a nice amount of immortals. That's five immortals there. But leading now with the stalkers. Oh, catching those stalkers brilliantly after they blinked. Taking down the observer as well. And now getting quite a few kills. And that is going to make all the difference in this coming engagement. Nano are right now up at 120 food. Retreating slightly there. Waiting for the rest of his units to catch up with him. Obviously, he had to leave some behind in case the stalkers had blinked into the main. And once again, both players just slightly backing off. It looks like both players are going to have a fairly similar mix, but Nano is going to have some immortals with it. And that could be the big difference. Because Immortal versus Stalker is so, so strong. And look at the amount of them he's got. That's just fantastic. Six Immortals there right now. And Nano are, in fact, expanding down to here as well. So if he can keep this alive, unfortunately for him, Huck has a feeling. So Nano are is now moving in, trying to catch these Stalkers. And brilliant timing. It pulls those away from there. So Nano are's third base is going to be totally safe. And now a huge engagement, Force Fields and Guardian Shields going down. Immortals engaging with Zealots, Zealots engaging with Zealots. And the Stalkers killing what they can. And everything of Hux is dying right now. Huck is in trouble here. Nanua is crushing through him. Ignoring the Archons, trying to pick up some Stalkers. And Huck just straight up GG's. Nanua takes this game and levels this series. One all. We will get a deciding game tomorrow. Wow. Nanua just played that to perfection. Wonderful catching of the Stalkers. Nice, nice blink control. And a perfect, perfect unit combination. The timing of the third was excellent. The timing of the attack to pull those units away from the rocks was just spot on. Nanua played that exactly as a Protoss should. That was fantastic to watch and fantastic to commentate on. Okay, so I'll be back tomorrow with the final game for this. That'll be my last game for a few weeks. So thank you once again very much for watching and I will see you all tomorrow.